Oh well. With that said, my experience with her was nothing short of a nightmare. This started back in July of 2009 when I met her at the annual auto show in our area. She was hired as a model by one of the car companies to look pretty, pass out literature, and pull people into their area to talk about vehicles. She was so hot, I was immediately under her spell. After mauling around the area, I went back and asked her out on the spot, and to my surprise, she said okay. On our first date, we just went for a drink and we talked for nearly three hours. On our next date, we went out to dinner, then I took her for a walk in a local park where we shared an ice cream sundae. At the end of the date, I took her back to her apartment and she invited me in. As soon as we entered her apartment, she closed the door and put her arms around my neck and started kissing me, and from there things happened fast. I'll spare the details, but you know what I'm talking about. From that point on, we spent every night together at either her place or mine, and 11 weeks later, she ended up pregnant. I was nervous, but so in love. Looking back on it now, it was probably lust or a combination of lust and love, but whatever it was, I was under her spell. That's never a good place to be, gentlemen. You can see this guy was so under her spell that he gets into a physical relationship with her right out of the gate and doesn't use protection. I immediately proposed to her, and she said yes. So now here's another story where a guy knows a woman for less than 90 days, and he's already proposing marriage to her. What are you thinking about, dude? Now keep in mind, at this point, neither of us had met each other's families or even friends for that matter. Our first introductions with each set of parents went something like this. Yeah, I want to hear this. Hi, mom and dad. I want to introduce you to blank. We've been dating for the past two months. We then told our parents to take a deep breath and relax, and then we told them we are pregnant and are getting married. No, your girlfriend is pregnant. You're not pregnant. Of course, our parents were shocked and very upset by this, and neither set of parents wanted us to go forward with marriage. Oh, by the way, at the time I was 21 and she had just turned 20, I had been working in retail for nearly four years and built myself up to an assistant manager, and my girlfriend didn't have a steady job, surprise, but was doing contract modeling work and also did food sampling in grocery stores. So she was just picking up gigs here and there, it looks like. For weeks, our parents tried to convince us to let things rest before we rushed into marriage, but we didn't. I moved her into my apartment, paid the cancellation fee on her place, and took over the payments on her car. Mistake, mistake, mistake. This guy is just, you know, making mistake after mistake. Unbelievable. A month later, we got our marriage license, and a week after that, we were married by the mayor. Our parents threw us a really nice reception dinner and even hired a DJ. We had about 50 family members and close friends in attendance. It was the best time. Five months later, my first son was born, and I was so proud. I couldn't believe I could ever love someone as much as I loved that kid and his mom. My focus was working hard and making money to support my family, which required long hours at work. Things paid off for me, and a year later, I was promoted to store manager with a nice increase in salary plus bonuses. Well, good for him. You can see he didn't go to college. He just started working retail. It looks like when he was like 17 years old, and he steadily built himself up, and now he's in a management position, and he's getting salary and bonuses. I tip my hat to the guy. Life was good, and right after I got promoted, we found out my wife was pregnant. I again was so excited about having another child, and we celebrated with family. By this time, both of our families were totally blended, and we were all like one big happy family. It was great. I was living my dream and couldn't be happier. Our second child was born, and it was another boy. Things were going so well, and my happiness level was off the charts at this point. Then, 
Everything came crashing down on September 16th of 2012. It was a beautiful late summer day, and I thought I would take the afternoon off and surprise my wife. To keep the surprise, I talked to her just before leaving the store and told her I'd be home around 6 p.m. She sounded disappointed, and we talked next about what she was going to fix for supper. So, it sounds like just a normal, you know, conversation here between a husband and wife. I left the store a little after 1 p.m. and stopped by a local grocery and bought a bouquet of flowers and headed home. When I got home, I noticed a car parked in front of our apartment, right beside my wife's car, with the rest of the lot empty. I don't know why, but I instantly had a bad feeling. Something wasn't right here. I just talked to her, and she said nothing about someone stopping by, and I didn't recognize the car. I parked down the lot from our place and walked up to our front door. It was a beautiful day, so my wife had the living room windows open, and as I got closer, I heard voices coming from the window. I clearly heard my wife giggling and talking to a man. I next moved to unlock the door, but didn't. Something told me to go back near that window and listen, and when I did, I heard my wife and this guy making ooing and aahing and MMM sounds. They weren't engaged in the act yet, but were getting close. I was out of my mind with rage and about to barge into the house to beat the living daylights out of this punk. But again, something stopped me before I put the key in the door. Standing there, I decided to call 911 instead. So now here's another guy engaging the police, and when I first heard the first story where a guy did that, I said, man, why would you do that? But the more I thought about it, it's probably a good idea, because your anger level is so high at that point, you may do something really stupid that's going to get you into a lot of trouble. Also, by having the police there, you've got another witness, so you can't be falsely accused by your wife. So it probably makes sense